Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the newest Gearson, imported by EAA, European American Imports. Gearson is known for making budget-friendly handguns, high quality. Okay, I, I've had a few, I've shot several, never really had an issue with Gearson. And today what I'm showing you is their newest release. You may see this on a site or two, but they all say out of stock. I don't think they're readily available at this moment. But it's called the MC-14 BDA. So what is it? Real small case here. Looks large because I have it up to the camera. But it's actually really small. So let's check it out. The MC-14 BDA. And here it is. Nice looking handgun. Offers a lot for the money. And from what I can tell, because there is no MSRP at this time, it is going to sell for a budget-friendly Price working man's budget, and if you go with this, you get this hard case, a user's manual, a board brush, and a lock. So that's that. Here is the MC14 BDA. It has an aluminum frame that is black Cerakoted. The slide is black Cerakoted. Nice touch. I love Cerakote. Very strong, covering over the pistol. It has a 13 round magazine and if you look at the deployment it really flies out there even when it's upside down almost completely exits the grip there but 13 round mags chambered in 380 ACP have you noticed all of the handguns chambered in 380 ACP the new releases like this I don't know if 380 ever went away. It seems like there's a comeback with it. The ammo is certainly expensive, but a lot of people love it. They like that low recoil, and in an all-metal gun like this, it would be very low recoil, and I'm going to check that out soon. It has polymer grips. It has a relief cut right there to the magazine release that is ambidextrous. We'll see the relief cut on that side where, that it could be switched over. All right, has the same cutouts there and an ambidextrous thumb safety in which the hammer does not need to be locked back for the thumb safety to engage and that will lock up the slide, render the trigger useless and of course single action it is on both sides. All right, so left-handed friendly. Here we, we will show clear. And that is the MC-14 BDA. The double action trigger pull is pretty nice. I have felt many handguns that, and you have too, I'm sure, where the double action trigger pull is extremely heavy. This is heavy, but it's not, it's not that bad. And the single action trigger is nice, four pounds little under with some of my measurements with the reset right there not not bad right there nice reset 3.8 inch barrel it has some vertical serrations on the back strap along with the front strap i mentioned aluminum frame has a little bit of weight but i love aluminum frame handguns a lot of people tell me i don't want anything to do with plastic give me metal guns that's how they were meant to be you hear that often and this is what the new gear sign is budget priced i will tell you and not skipping on the quality metal sights three dot metal sights and a metal guide rod we're going to take a look at that uh not a real large trigger guard there and i brought a glove out to see because it's still it's still cold in the northern states put a glove on it's a it's a tight fit okay not a lot of real estate but once in there i'm not i'm touching the trigger but i'm not activating the trigger because that would be right there with these gloves but then the double action right there and then it's it's tight but not overly tight if you have big fat fingers you may have a problem so it's a nice looking ambidextrous handgun with polymer grips budget priced once again and i love the way it disassembles see that button right there on the left side all you do is push that in take this lever push it down and off comes the slide from the frame get a load of these thick sidewalls with the slide very thick and then there is the frame it's heavier than polymer of course but 
doesn't feel like it too much. I would not call this a subcompact. It's close. All metal guide rod, uncaptured recoil spring, and the 3.8 inch barrel. All right, and there is the little plunger trigger safety. But I wouldn't call this subcompact. I would call it not compact, sort of a mid-size. That's what I would refer to it as. And then there's a look at the frame, the rails. Nicely machined. Well done. And then just bring it back, push this back. It had when you when you push this lever back, it has to be pretty perfect to get that lever back into place but let's go ahead and get on the scale see what this thing is weighing in at here we have a all metal oh by the way you're wondering well how much is it gear sod does not state an msrp but you're looking at 330 to 350 for this handgun one pound eight and an eighth ounce we move that to just ounces 24 and one eighth ounce here are 13 rounds of 380 acp we're looking at 28 and three quarters here's an additional round pretty sure that will bring it to an even 29 ounces 29 and an eighth so that is the loaded weight with the gear sign mc14 bda 380 light recoil easy to shoot easy to stay on target makes it nice to transition back and forth without without the muzzle jumping too much it comes with one magazine Cerakote slide and frame i'm also told they make this in two-tone but i have not seen that i don't know if i'd choose the two-tone i think this looks pretty cool but i'll be getting this to the range See how it performs. I'm expecting good things. Very tight. No wobble room at all. Like nothing. All metal. Nice. Nice handgun. I think they did a good job and we'll be checking it out and I'll certainly bring you along with me. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.